Hey guys, it's Sushix here, and welcome back to Pixelmon Season 3. This is episode 23, and today we're going to be moving houses. Because uh, I feel like it's time that we uh, we find somewhere else to live, or we build like a better house to live. I don't know, there's been 23 episodes of living in our little hobbit hole, and uh, I feel it's time maybe we should move. But the dilemma is... I cannot move far away because I want to still I want to still live near your statues and I still want to live near all you guys because this is a really cool awesome area and I want to like expand it to just tons of you guys because there's just tons of you guys and <laughs> and um and uh, you know you guys keep popping up all over the place this is new people coming every day who want to join the circus and stuff anyway so I'm talking nonsense but welcome so goals for today we got to finally evolve Ponytail because I'm just sick of having the pony Tower. Like we've been working on getting the rapid ash for like 10 million episodes, and um, and uh, it's just it's just it's got to finish. We got to get it. Uh, and then next, I mean, we might find something else to train. Uh, we probably got to train for alligator a little bit. Um, but then other than that, yeah, I want to find somewhere new to move, and then uh, you know, get started on the building. So, I mean, um, oh, my controls are all stuffed up. So we do have my mini map back, which is good. Uh, I do need to fix. Where's uh, mini map controls? All right. So, zoom should be Z, and then uh, uh, toggle full screen map, that should be X. Alright, that's the normal controls I have. Yep, okay, there we go. So, um, our house is here, we want to stay nearby here, and uh, maybe we should expand this at some point as well. Not that I really use it that much, because um, we do already have like a decent amount of ultra balls. We probably need more later anyway, but... Let's, uh, oh, maybe we can do something cool. Oh, you know what we could do, maybe? We could, uh, we couldn't have, like, a beachside house. Now, that might be a little bit far away from our statues, so we might have to figure out some sort of building that we can build nearby, and, uh, we can turn this into, like, you know, we can start building some more stuff, because I feel like we've done, there's a little bit of lack of building in the series, so, um, if we build a house over here, like, our little, um, beach home, we'll have our, uh, we'll have our little hobbit hole over there, we'll build a path all the way through here, and, um, and then we'll build some other buildings nearby, and, uh, it, so I want to just make sure that people who get chosen to be statues or people who are already statues, you're not going to be, you know, just kind of left in the corner. We're still going to be living in this whole area. Uh, that was my main, main concern with, like, moving house. Um, and then there's also going to be some other kind of statue things going on. Uh, not that, not that I think it'll really impact the series much because it's not going to be many people that are going to become this special thing. Uh, I don't really know if I'm going to go into much information on it now because I'm going to make a whole video. And I was even thinking of doing this as my first kind of webcam video. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to do a whole video on it pretty much. Uh, if you guys know what uh, Patreon is, I set up my own Patreon thing the other day. Um, the link will be in the description, and, uh, if you go to that, you'll see the reasons why I set it up, and why I am asking for support, and stuff like that, and what sort of things you guys can expect from, us uh, supporting me. Now, I'm just clearing out this whole area, because I, I plan on building here. Um, so if you're wondering what I was doing, this is what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, if you don't, if you know what a Patreon is, basically, it's a website where you can support your favorite content creators and stuff by, uh, uh donating or, like, contributing, uh, monetary value to them, uh, like, every, every month. Uh, but the people either do it, uh, every month or by every video, and the people who do it every video are people like animators or, like, film creators who only put up a video, like, once every couple of weeks or once every month or whatever. Um, so I'm not in that scheme, I'm going by the scheme of every month, so, you know, if you donated, like, one dollar, uh, every month, and, you know, I got, like, a hundred different people doing that, then that would be a hundred dollars every, and if you go and read the thing, it'll, uh, it'll make a lot more sense, and, uh, you'll see why I'm setting it up, uh, there's actually a really, really good reason, and I'm super excited to hopefully have, um, I don't know, some more financial support by, you know, later in the year and stuff, and then I can kind of look to do other things, which will be awesome. Um, but yeah, if, um, pretty much back to my statues thing, if, uh, you guys, uh, if, if you guys set up, you know, one dollar a month donation to, to me and my content creating and whatever, you become a, uh, well, what I'm gonna do is, uh, you'll become a special, what I'm gonna call, like, a patron statue, and, uh, what this means, okay, I think that's, I think that's pretty much cleared out for now, um, we need to go get some materials, um, pretty much what that means is every series where I will be involving statues, which will pretty much be every series I can, um, 
you'll become a special patron statue, which means you'll automatically be added into the series as a statue um, in their own special patron area. Patron statues will not be added in here. They'll get their own very special place to be a statue. Uh, I'll put a little bit more effort, I guess, in moving around their little body parts so they look sexy. I'll give them, like, swords and stuff. It just it pretty much means they just get a little bit, a little bit more of a special shout-out. And, uh, I don't know, I, I think it's something really awesome that I can do, and then those who, uh, contribute five dollars or more every month will be added to, uh, my private stream server, which some people, are, like, a lot of people are already added to, um, and pretty much if you can't donate, you know, five dollars every month to supporting me or whatever, uh, then the one, one off five dollar donation on PayPal still works, like, I just, I, I don't really care that much, but I just, I don't know, I'm still thinking of new rewards and stuff to give you guys, and, uh, I, I don't know how well this is going to work either, but it's kind of really, really important that I kind of get more of a stable, I don't know, income, I guess, um, with YouTube going up and down all over the place and streaming up and down all over the place. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about that. If you want to go check it out, go to the Patreon link in the description below. Um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, thank you to anyone who even just ch checks it out and whatever. Um, Anyway, so we need wood, I guess? I mean, let's just, I guess we're just gonna make it a dark wood, because there's a million different, you know, dark wood thingies around. Um, we might want some... Hmm, well, okay, no, we will definitely need some, uh... What am I, what's the word I'm trying to look for? Some variety. Uh, so we're gonna grab, okay, we got some more stairs there. Um, okay, and we're gonna keep the Ultra Balls on us just in case, and the Moon Ball, and the Dive Ball, just in case a Legendary spawns or something like that. Uh, we have enough coconuts to last us a while. Let's head over here and cobblestone. I want to take some cobblestone because I always like incorporating cobblestone. Pretty much like I've done here with the, um, the bottom row being like all of the stone bricks. I like doing that. Um, and, oh, we have normal oak wood. All right, oak wood, oak wood will do. That'll, that'll help us bring some diversity into it all. All right, now let's also go to sleep because it's nighttime and I don't like nighttime. Also, we need to heal up. I didn't realize Rico was like low on health. I don't know why. And, uh, and we definitely need to start training that Pegasus as well. So if we see any high level, I mean, high level being like level 30, level 40 Pokemon, we're going to uh, chuck them in. But now we're going to, I'm going to add in a uh, new statue for today. Uh, I guess we'll just do it with this cobblestone here. So we have two new statues for today. I'm going to do one now and one later on, as I normally do. So congratulations to today's first statue, which is, but 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 that was like a drum roll. I, I don't know. Uh, our creator! But, oh, no way, I spelled it wrong. Uh, it's underscore. But, 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 and there, there, sculpt it. Uh, oh, wait, we need, uh, we need, uh, 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 what are the things? We need the palettes so we can color them in. He needs color. Um, where are we going? Did I have some on me? No, but we do have a lot of, like, a shit ton of dye. Okay, so we'll grab one of those, we'll grab two of those, we'll grab two of those, and I'm gonna grab one more of these. We already have the wood on us. So, something like that. Perfect. All right. Okay, let's go color them in. And then I have another palette for the next statue. So, we're all good. Um, uh, jump. Oh, see, see the skill there? And I also want to add the sign because otherwise I get confused later on. Uh, I went through and added all the signs from before. I might go through them a little bit uh, quickly if you are already a statue. And uh, I just want you guys to, you know, confirm with me that that name that I've put with the statue is correct. Because I can't be bothered going through all my old videos and watching myself uh, put them up. So, um, I mean, where did we start? Probably somewhere... Uh, I think, no, past here. Okay, I think it was somewhere over here with, like, the Aquasonic and the Laser or something. So, is, is this you, Aquasonic? Is this you, Brian? Is this you, Rising Darks? Is this you, Honey Man? Is this you, Alpro? Is this you, Shinobu? Uh, let me know, guys. If anyone is wrong, uh, let me know so I can change it and swap them around and whatnot. Anyway, uh, R underscore creator is sexy. And then we're gonna put this line here. We got bam. Okay, then. And we'll do, I don't know, I don't know, we'll figure out, we'll do the other person later. Uh, level 41 Pharaoh, this is awesome. Okay, this is great. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, so Pegasus already has an XP, XP uh, share on it. So we're just going to, I don't know, kill anything we want with the, with the, um, Empoleon. Eh. Thank you. Okay, Hydro Pump. Bam, easy peasy. Now, oh shit, where's the orb? We should keep the orb on us. I'm just going to teleport there. Oh god. Uh oh bo 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 bo. Um okay, keep the orb on us. What else should we keep on us just in case? Nothing. All right, that's fine. We should be keeping the orb on us. See, that was one kill that we could have put on towards our orb. And now it's not going to even work. Okay, so we need 310 more kills. Still a long way away, but uh they'll slowly accumulate throughout the series and we'll finally get an Articuno at some point. 
Uh, I feel like one of these episodes, I'm just going to go on a massive killing spree and get like 50 kills in like one episode. I don't know. We'll see what I can manage to do. Every time I try and plan something like that, oh my god, it's a turd week. Do we have a turd week? I don't know. Why do I not have the... <sighs> well, I got to keep the PC on me. I keep coming back. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, keep the PC on you. Now, do we have a Turtwig? Because, if not, I want to catch that Turtwig, because Turtwigs are awesome. Who? Everyone loves a Turtwig. Um, it's coconut. Melon. Ah, uh, they look like coconuts. I don't know why the picture looks like a coconut. This is melon, but it looks like a coconut. Uh, I also have a rename for today. I might do that in a second because we do have a PC on us. Uh, it is a Pokemon that's in the PC. It is one of the um, the Eevee evolutions. I've decided um, I'm just picking a name because I thought it was a cool name. Um, also, speaking of Eevee evolutions, we should probably evolve them all. Like, maybe like next episode or something. I've got to make sure that I don't want to ruin their movesets or anything. But, uh, Turtwig. Okay, do we have a Turtwig? Uh, does not look like it. All right, let's catch this baby. Let's catch him. Bam. All right, where'd you go? So, yeah, pretty much uh, multiple people have said, like, yeah, evolve the EVs as soon as you can because, you know, they need to learn all their stab moves, and that makes sense to me. I don't know why I was trying to level them up more. Uh, uh, um, uh, okay, go Alpha. You can sleep powder him. We can't really do much damage to him because he's very, very weak. Uh, shit, where do you go? Tetwing! Tetwing, come back, Tetwing! Where'd you go, Tetwing? Oh my god. He disappeared! Wait, wait, wait. Oddish, Sparrow. Oddish. Oh my god. Oh my god, Tetwing. No, are you serious? Wow, that was really easy to lose him. Holy crap. Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> Scared me. Okay. Scares me. Um, bam. Oh, no. 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 Tetwig. Bam. Okay, uh, sleep powder. Just do a little bit of sleep powder. We're gonna put him to sleep. Uh, Ultra Ball. We have a lot of Ultra Balls. Hopefully this is enough. Although Turtwig does have a really, like, low catch rate. Um, is what I found. So... Oh, there's a Lapras in the background. Ooh, I'd like a Lapras. See, a Lapras would be easier to catch than this Turtwig. We're gonna waste, like, all of our Ultra Balls in this Turtwig. If it takes more than five, I'm just gonna give up. Because I don't wanna waste all those Ultra Balls on... Oh, we caught him! Okay, that was easy. It only caught... It only cost us two Ultra Balls. Alright. Let's go over to Lapras, we'll catch Lapras, because Lapras is keel. Lapras is very keel, and then, uh, I don't know, we'll try and train the Pegasus, and then we might just get started. Oh, he despawned. I see a Poke loot though, so I'm still going to head over this way. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just going to get two sidetracked to actually build our house today. Kingler, Slowbro, ooh, very high level Pokemon, awesome. Uh, let's just send out Rico. He's just gonna do a little bit, a little bit of sexy stuff. He's just gonna go, like, drill pack, because it's about- Oh, that did, like, no damage. Uh, Bubble Beam. Ugh, still like no damage. All right, but Hydro Pump. Oh, come on, don't don't you miss? All right, Hydro Pump. There we go. Uh, Pegasus gained thirteen hundred experience. Okay, Hydro Pump. Oh come on, dude. Okay, there we go. Drill Pack, and then I don't know Brine. There we go. And uh, didn't go up a level. Uh, it's gonna take so long. Uh, uh, Kingla. Okay, Drill Pack. And then Brian or something, I don't know, come on, Bubble Beam, there we go, 38, okay, he's 38, okay, two more levels, guys, and we finally have a Rapidash, and then I can just throw him away in a box forever, assuming it's level 40, maybe I've even got it wrong, maybe it's like 42 or something, uh, kill me, kill, if it's, if it's 42, then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give up, I'm actually just gonna quit YouTube, uh, is my plan, if, uh, if, uh, he doesn't evolve at level 40, okay, 63, awesome. Um, so Rico's getting up there, which is good. We have a Mareep, Starly. Uh, see, it'd be cool to, like, build somewhere over here, but I don't want to... I mean, I could move all my statues. I mean, it really wouldn't take much effort for me to just put all the statues back. Um, if we moved somewhere different. I would have to do that, like, off-camera, but it wouldn't really take that much effort. Mm, you know what? Like, let's move over here. I actually like this little area. Like, by the river, you got some, like, mountains surrounding you. Nice little place. I mean, if we fill in that little bit over there with, like, dirt, it should, we got a decent place to build a house. Alright, so I'm gonna build a house over here. I'm gonna move all the statues, uh, between this episode and next episode. And, uh, they're all gonna have a, a different place. Especially because where the statues are now, the, the footpath in the middle is, like, uneven. So I kind of, I kind of screwed it up there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make it look sexier, it's gonna look better, we're gonna get prepared. I think what I might like to do is like a layered system. So, uh, if I can get some like, uh, you know, I'll just get some like cobblestone or something, show you what I mean. So, I wanna put like, okay, so we're gonna have like statues here, and then, you know, we're gonna have... 
more statues here, and they kind of just like go up in a row, and then it's gonna look like really, really cool. I don't know. I think I think that'd be awesome. It's uh, something to try, definitely. Um, now it's just more about where do we put them. We could put them, I don't know, somewhere like over here, or we could put them like underground or something. Oh, a Snivy. I can't really be bothered catching a Snivy at the moment, but uh, it's cool that it's there. <laughs> I mean, oh, and I see a Surviper, I believe, all the way back there. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so we're going to clear out all of these trees, and uh, and then, I don't know, we're probably going to need to go back to our old house and get some dirt and fill all of this in, because uh, we kind of need that space. But, uh, yeah, I don't think we were going to really be able to accomplish much today in terms of building our house. But, uh, at least we found where we're going to build our house. How have we already been going for, like, 15 minutes? That's ridiculous. Time flies when you're doing nothing. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. I also haven't streamed in a while, I'm sorry. I got, I've, school starts and everything, it's like, uh, stressful. But, uh, you know, I'll get around to it, it's all good. Also, Binding of Isaac is not going to continue, because the second episode was poo poo and uh, I thought it was good I I, I did, there was a long episode and I did really well and I got further than I've ever been before and uh, did not get much support um and I feel really as you I mean if I asked for like 50 likes or something then I wouldn't really mind I asked for like a hundred likes because last episode I don't know I was just going off last episode and how well that did uh, which got like 110 or 15 or something like that. So I asked for 100 and then it's, I think it's at like 40 something at the moment. It just makes me feel really stupid. So I'm like, yeah, this is because of a series. But uh, you know, it's fun for those two episodes. Um, I'm also looking at doing more collaborations with a lot of the YouTube people I have on Skype. Um, so look out for, you know, more mini game videos, I guess, and just one off videos where I just dick around with like other YouTubers and whatnot like that. Um, yeah, I think for the rest of this episode, we're going to try and get ourselves the, um, Rapidash, and then we're just going to clear out all of this area. So, uh, I'll just like, you know, change it a bit. So, uh, what I want to do is we're going to put that there. And then we're going to chop all this down, get all this out of the way. So, yeah, there's a Minecraft, you know, it has a certain layered system to it, you know? You got to you gotta kind of just go with the flow here. You got to go with what feels what feels right. So, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, anymore to be honest. We're going to chop down this tree here. I love tree capitator. Tree capitator is like, just the best thing ever. Tree capitator and inventory tweaks and Pixamon and Pam's Harvest Craft, which is not in the series, but I don't know. I, I was going to start an Into Beautiful World series. That might not be happening anymore because I'm looking at doing other things with other people. Depends what I can really be bothered doing. Anyway, uh, we're nearly done clearing this area out. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, we're going to try and get ourselves a uh, Rapidash. And then we're going to end the episode. You know what? I think the second statue for today, it might be it might be a special statue. Like we did last episode where we got lost. Except this time, I'm going to do it on purpose. I'm not going to do it because we got lost. So, uh, I think I, we might do the first statue of our, our new place. The next person who I'm going to make into a statue is going to be the first statue of our new place. So, um, ba -ba -ba, place all these down. As much dirt as we can just to fill this all in. Let the grass grow over. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, so we're gonna put a statue. Where are we gonna put a statue? I think we should put it. Uh, we're gonna put it up here. So if we just hammer the dirt that's already here, awesome. Okay, so congratulations to today's second statue and the first statue at our new house. Uh, is a fan by the name of Donkey. Uh, three. Bam. Okay, I was really. I got scared there for a second. Oh god. Okay, that's in a really weird position. Um, okay, that works, that works. Let's just color him in. Ooh, Captain America, I like it. Okay, okay, uh, can we just change him a little bit? I don't know, can we, what is this, what does this do? I don't know what this does. Um, uh, can I put a, can I put a shovel in his hand? Oh, I totally can. Okay, so you can put anything in their hands. Um, we might start, like, adding, like, armor to everyone or something, I don't know. Let's, we could do something cool. Anyway, this is the first statue of, uh, this place. I don't know why I'm putting it there, but it's there. Uh, congratulations to Donkey, and, um, I don't know, we'll put, like, a sign up or something later. Oh, shit, I gotta do the rename real quick. Okay, we gotta do the rename, and then we are going, oh, I gotta set a waypoint as well. Alright, we still got a lot to do this episode. New, okay, uh, new home, I don't know, we'll change the name of it later. That's just what it is for now. Okay, okay, we'll go back to our old home. Eat some coconuts slash melons. And, uh, I don't know, we'll rename, we'll rename, the, today's rename is gonna be the Vaporeon, and, um... And, uh, okay, we'll move Turtwig back into this box. And the Olaf, Leapion, Espeon, Luna, 
All right, I'll put him over here. Uh, just, just kinetic Flareon. Where did I put the? Oh wait, is Vaporeon the only one I didn't get? Oh no, it's here. Vaporeon. Okay, I don't know why that's there. That's weird. What are you doing there? All right, and Kingla, you do not go here. You go somewhere else. I don't know where you go. What number are you? Ninety-nine. Okay, so you go. Uh, like here. No wait. That. Oh wait. Uh. Uh, that's six, seven, eight, nine. Something like that, I, I believe. That, and then, okay. I think that's right. Anyway, so today we're going to be renaming our, uh, Vaporeon. So congratulations. Oh my god, what am I doing? Pressing all the buttons at once. Okay, congratulations to... I really need, like, a proper, proper drum roll or something. Congratulations to Vicky Lols, who gave us the, uh, suggestion Ariel for, uh, our, um... Wait, are you a female? Please be a female. Wait, how do you... Uh, is male... Is male all right? Well, Ariel does not really work for a, a male. So let's see. Do we have any? Do we have any? You know? Okay. To, uh, Espion. Okay. So we can just change this. So Espion is going to now become our um our Vaporeon. So you're going to be Ariel. Rename. Okay. And then you swap out with you. And then uh Ariel. Oh no! No, I'm confused. All right. No, swap out with you. Okay. Now that worked. Okay. Now you're going to become Espion. Ah, right, Espion, renamed that baby, bam, okay, and uh, now we're all good, now I'm pretty sure next episode is going to be the Eevee episode where we're just going to evolve every single Eevee evolution, or everything that we can do anyway, um, okay, now we're going to go to sleep and we're going to get ourselves a Rapidash and then we're going to end up this year episode, so I don't know how long this is going to take, hopefully getting two levels does not take too long, but um, I don't know, we'll see. Wait, let me just, I want to double check this before I, I start this rampage. Okay, so Rapidash Evolve Level. Probably bumps the mic a little bit there. It's level 40. Okay, I it is level 40. That is good news. Um, Now we just need to find stuff to kill. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the desert biome because that'll always help with our training and stuff. We got a bunch of gravelers. We might run into some magmas and, uh, you know, flygons and, and stuff like that. Uh, level 30 Graveler, and they're also very, very easy to defeat. Oh, except for, you know, when they're passive procs and they don't die from one hit, which is just super annoying. Alright, come on. Dude, dude, Graveler. Brian. And, yep. So if you guys didn't, uh, you guys, if you guys weren't aware, uh, Gravelers, uh, and Gravelers and Geodudes and a few other Pokemon, they have this passive, uh, you know, unique, what do you call it, trait thingy, uh, which pretty much means that they can't be one hit KO'd sometimes. So it's really annoying. You'll, they'll be left with one health, and it's just it's super annoying. Um, also, I don't think I explained a few things before in terms of like statues and stuff. I normally do like to explain it. Um, if you are new to the series and you're like, "What is he talking about with all the statues and and stuff?" Um, pretty much every every episode, I add in uh, like two or three uh, new fan statues into the world, so they can be just part of the. I, I don't know. It brings them closer into the series. I like incorporating my fans as much as I can into the series, and uh, this is really good experience. I love this. All right, uh, so we have one more level, guys. One more level, and uh, so yeah, if you guys leave your Minecraft username down below in the comments, I choose two random people pretty much every episode um, to add into the world. And uh, also, I allow you guys to rename all my Pokemon. So if you guys have a suggestion for the rename, I normally only pick one per episode for the renaming. Um, but if you guys have a suggestion for the rename, leave it down below. And again, try to be original. Don't comment down a nickname that ten other people have already put down in the comments, like naming Charizard Blaze or naming Pegasus, you know, Fire Horse or something. I don't know. Like I don't know. Come up with something different. Uh, you know, it's, I mean, Empoleon is Rico because Rico is the name of one of Madagascar's penguins and Empoleon is like a penguin. See, that's like obscure, but it also works and I like the name Rico for it, you know? Ariel for Vaporeon, like Ariel, Mermaid, Water, Ocean, Vaporeon. It all works, it all kind of connects, but don't go with like Water Butt. Oh, and if when we eventually rename a Squirtle, or whatever. Don't go with Shell Shocker. Everyone goes with Shell Shocker. I think season one, I decided I was going to rename it Shell Shocker. And then everyone always suggests it because it's the name of the, in the Pokemon series. And it's like, come on, dude. Come on, think of something different. Especially when like five other people have commented down below. Like, can't you just be like, yeah, you know, I want to do something different. Even if it doesn't get picked, so let me comment something different. Ah, you know, you know. Anyway, that's my little rant. We're so close here. I can taste it. That's why I'm just kind of taking on anything at the moment. Not necessarily high-level things. 
just anything that'll push us over the over the edge with this with this ponytail and get this done. Um, uh, where's all the Pokemon at? Pokemans, Pokemans, where you at? Come on, I need the Pokemans. Uh, come on, give me the Pokemans. Give me the Pokemon. See, I'm really hoping a legendary doesn't spawn at this point in the video. Like, I prefer it spawns within, like, the first, like, five minutes of a video. Like that, or, like, a shiny or whatever. Because that's perfect. That's, like, the time when, you know, people aren't going to leave. It's, see, people might be like, oh, sh legendary. And then it's like, oh, you know, I've watched, like, the first five, ten minutes. He's not here. I'm going to leave. You know what I mean? Or something like that. I don't want it to be early in the episode. Keep you guys, like, hooked. Hooked in. Anyway. That was a silence. Um, Magma and Flygon. This should be good enough to get ourselves the Rapidash. Come on, Flygon. Be our, be our saving, saving grace. Hydro Pump. And... Oh, yes! There it is! There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We finally got the pony, uh, the pony tower to evolve into a Rapidash. The thing we've been attempting to do for many... Many episodes now. I don't know why Ponytail such has like such a high evolution level. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like Rapidash is a cool Pokemon, yeah, but it doesn't deserve like a level 40 evolution level. That's kind of right, crazy. Guys, quick cut. I don't know why, but my audio decided to just stop recording uh, at like the 25 minute line when I was talking about the Rapidash being like level 40 evolution. Uh, and I noticed pretty much like a minute later, we just teleported back home and I was going to end the episode. So I don't know why I did that, but we're going to end the episode now here while I remember you guys, remember you guys, remind you guys about a few things. Don't forget to like the video. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, the latest episodes have been, been a little bit slow in terms of gaining likes. We have been hitting that like goal, which is awesome to see. Uh, but yeah, again, don't forget to leave a like down below. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a comment down below with your Minecraft username so I can add you as a statue in this game and also don't forget to comment down below with your um your suggestion for a Pokemon nickname and I'll choose one next episode and um <clears throat> also don't forget to check out the Patreon thing that I talked about it's in the description uh don't and I, by the way everyone who becomes a patron gets like a massive shout out in every episode um not okay not in every episode but like they get a massive shout out um you know, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well, at official sushi. I'm gonna stop. I've, I've, with this episode, I've stopped putting my uh, Twitter in the bottom left-hand corner because I was getting annoyed with it being there. Uh, but I'm going to just, I don't know, try and figure out some way to put it into my videos. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pixel on Season Three. Bye.